Having edited our UV texture in Photoshop to put a big F and B on the front and back of, a, of, of, our, of our character here, we actually now need to bring that picture back into uh, Blender. To do that, we are going to go into the image menu, image menu, and open our JPEG. You can see it right here, the UV textures body.jpeg. I'm sorry, no. I had another one going. UV textures for body, body JPEG, this one. I'm going to open the image, and it comes in. You can see the F and B that I had on the front here. Let's actually zoom this a little bit. I'm going to hit the view and tell it to view all, and see if I can zoom this gracefully. So we can see that I've got the F right there in the center of the front and the B in the center of the back. And this is all lovely, right? We see this on our cutouts. We were hoping that somehow this is going to work out. Let's toggle over to the 3D view, 3D view, and right now we're looking at our mannequin still in edit mode. Let's take it from edit mode to object mode, and right now I'm looking at it in wireframe mode right here. I'm going to change this from wireframe to textured, and all of a sudden we can see the F on the front of my, our character, and in fact, if I change this to camera view, in camera view I can actually grab my character. I'm actually going to select it off screen here, so I'm selecting just the character. And if I grab it and spin it around, you'll see he's got a big B on his back as well. This is all very hopeful. In the next screencast I'll show you how to set it so that when we render this guy, you will actually see him in full 3D glory with this texture on it.